Hello everybody. I just want to start this video off today just for the record, just saying I apologize for not posting anything sooner. But I want to go into a little bit more detail, which I'll another video will be coming out later to explain to you what has been going on and as to why I have not posted anything in almost two months. But anyway, this morning I am heading out to the junkyard because the Ford Focus that I own is needs a, a little attention. Some of the things that I've already replaced on it is the auto air control valve because it wasn't idling right. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? And just a bunch of other little random stuff. Uh, n nothing really motor wise yet. Um, today we're getting, we're going to pick up a motor mount and we're going to pick up a mass airflow sensor. And I would buy those things brand new, but for both of those, it's going to be close to like 200 bucks. And this is only going to cost me 20. So I'm willing to give this a shot since the car that I pulled the auto air off last week it actually worked so anyway stay tuned come and ride along with me but anyway we're going out here we're gonna get these parts and we'll get them installed that's what you can expect friends so I found one of the focuses and the good thing for me is that this mount that's in here almost looks brand new and it's even stamped with the four genuine parts so I'm gonna try to get this bad boy off all right so I went to the junkyard to get the motor mount I just wanted to start the car real quick to show you if you can tell, you can probably hear all that rattle. That's the vibration that I'm getting right now. So I'm going to replace this motor mount and see if it fixes it. time to change the mount this is the old one look at that it's starting to crack and be dry rod of course this is the original mount so there's a lot of play this one seems to be a lot more stiffer than this one so all right let's get this one installed Mounts in, and as you can see, vibration is gone. 